In a world where size kinda means everything, dinosaurs took this idea to the maximum, with some of these titanic beasts reaching sizes you could only imagine Godzilla could obtain. And within this group known as dinosaurs, we don't find one singular family, but instead three separate clades, with the theropods, sauropods and ornithischians. And within these groups we have the true kaiju sized dinosaurs, who are actually given the word mega at the beginning of their names. And today we'll be carrying on from last week where we looked at the mega theropods and in today's video we'll be looking at the mega fishgins, as you guys voted for it last week. This group is by far the most diverse dinosaur clade we know of, with it including hadrosaurs, ceratopsians, stegosaurs, ankylosaurs and pachycephalosaurids. So as you know now we're going to be looking at mega fishgins, we actually need to know, what is a Megafistian? Well it's not an official family or clade because there's no real link between the species, but instead it's a way to class huge dinosaurs. And the only real qualification of a dino needs to be classed as a Mega of its clade is to weigh over 5 tons in weight. Unless you're a sauropod, because forget being over 5 tons, most of them are over 20 tons. And just before we start, in the future this list definitely will be inaccurate because that's how paleontology works and everything changes. But although for now, I think it's a pretty solid list with some decent renditions. So not wasting any more time, let's get into the video. Starting with our one star dinosaurs, they range from 5,000 to 6,000 kilos in weight, or otherwise known as 5 to 6 tons. And for comparison, these dinos weigh around the same size as the largest modern day African elephants. And the first dino we have in this tier is Cedapelta. This basal ankylosaur measures at 5 tons in weight and 7 meters in length. Although this dinosaur is very cool, you'll notice it's missing an iconic ankylosaurid part. And that would be the ankylosaurid club tail. This ankylosaur decided just to go all for armor, making it look very similar to its cousins, the nodosaurs. Next in this tier, we have a Guana Colossus. This dinosaur measures at 9 meters in length and also weighs 5 tons in weight. Although this is an incredibly cool dinosaur, Sadly, its moment in the spotlight was stolen. In the documentary Walk of Dinos, the Iguanodon that the Utahraptors were hunting should have been Iguana Colossus, because if it was actually an Iguanodon, that would mean the Utahraptors would be in Europe, not being Utahraptors anymore. But nonetheless, even if Iguana Colossus' spotlight was stolen, it's still an incredibly cool dinosaur. Next, we have an extremely classic dinosaur, and that's Stegosaurus. At 5.3 tons in weight, 7.5 meters in length, it's an impressive animal with size alone, but in my opinion the most impressive part is its weaponry. Each stegosaur is equipped with four spikes on the end of its tail, called phagomizers, which measured up to a metre in length, and if you didn't know, it needed these weapons for a valid reason, and that was to defend itself from dinosaurs such as Ceratosaurus, Allosaurus, and the two megatheropods it shared its home with, Orvosaurus and Allosaurus Anax. Next we have one of the weirdest, but definitely the most iconic dinosaurs, and that's Parasaurolophus walkeri. This beast measures at 10.4 meters in length and weighs 5,604 kilograms. As well as its apparent large size, there's also something this dinosaur can do that is rather impressive, and that's the sounds it can produce from its crest. Next on the list is another Parasaurolophus, and that would be Parasaurolophus syracreus, or at least I think that's how you say it. This Parasaur was slightly heavier than its cousin Walkeri at 5,652 kilos and 10.43 meters in length. Although both are pretty relative in size and appearance, there's one main difference we can see between the two species, and that would be the crest shape. Walkeri seems to have a longer and more straight looking crest, while Syracratus has a shorter and almost fully curved crest. Next we have another hadrosaur, and that's Anasiosaurus. This dinosaur measures at 5,876 kilos and measures at 10.44 meters in length. And as well, this dinosaur belongs to the Saurolophinae family, meaning it's related to some of the top dogs in the hadrosaur world, which we'll definitely see later in the video. And the last dinosaur we have in the one star category is Lanshusaurus. This beast weighs at 6 tons in weight, which means it barely misses the chance to be classed as a tier 2 by the skin on its teeth. And as well as its huge weight, it also measures at 10 meters in length, which makes it one of the longest one star dinosaurs, but definitely the heaviest. Moving up a tier into the two star dinosaurs, size increases from 5 to 6 tons to 6 to 7 tons. And starting off this tier is Sorolophus, at 6,336 kilograms in weight and 10.84 meters in length. And this is indeed a huge creature, but there's actually two species under the genus Sorolophus. And funnily enough, this is indeed the smaller one. So later in the video, we'll get to see how large truly this genus can get. 
moving into our second tier 2 dinosaur, we have a Mirosaurus. This one by a Sorone measures at 6,455 kilograms and reaches sizes of 10.9 meters in length. And this size was indeed very much needed, with it sharing its home with Dromaeosaurs and pack hunting Tyrannosaurs. Next, we have Titanoceratops, our first Ceratopsian on the list. And luckily for me, and other Ceratopsian lovers, it's the first of many to come. In weight, it stacks about 6.55 tons in weight, but only measures at 6.8 meters in length, giving it a rather small figure when compared to others. And the final dinosaur in our two star tier is Brachylophosaurus. This dinosaur measured at 7 tons and 11 meters, and just like with our tier 1s, an ornithopod rounds out this tier as well. Now moving on into our 3 star dinosaurs, size increases again, this time to 7 to 8 tons in weight, meaning these dinosaurs weigh around the same as two Indian elephants. Starting us off is a stegosaur known as Dacenturius. A maximum size of 7.4 tons and 9 meters in length is very much an impressive dinosaur, and as well, originally, Dacenturius was named a completely different species known as Omosaurus, but as time went on, Omosaurus became dubious and Dacenturius was birthed into the spotlight. Next we have our first of two Edmontosaurs, and that's Edmontosaurus regalis. This beast weighs 7,565 kilos and was 11.5 meters in length. And although the size is very large and impressive, it's not really much compared to its other species, which we'll get to later. Talking of other species, next on the list we have a dinosaur I mentioned earlier, which is Saurolophus angustarus. This dinosaur weighs 7,887 kilos and reached 11.29 meters in length meaning it weighed a full ton and a half more than its other species and measured around a metre longer. Next we have everyone's favourite armoured dinosaur, and that's Ankylosaurus. This sort of in tank is sadly not as large as we saw it in Walking with Dinos, but it still has its tanky demeanour at 7,950 kilos. In length though it kind of falls short at only 8 metres, but because of this small length and hefty weight, this is easily one of the most stocky dinosaurs to exist. And the final dino we have before moving into the 4 stars is Magnapolio. This dinosaur has a confirmed weight of 8 tons, but it has quite a lot of different sizes, with the most credible and up to date being the smallest at 12 meters in length, but the largest at one point was 16.5 meters in length, which would have made it the longest hadrosaur to exist. Now moving on to the 4 star dinosaurs, we start to see real titans, with them weighing 8 to 10 tons in weight, which means these dinosaurs weigh the same as 3 African elephants. And starting off this tier, we have Baz Baldia, at 8,276 kilos in weight and 11.47 meters in length. This supersized hadrosaur, like many others, lived in Asia, so he needed to use this colossal size to ward off Megatheropod like Tarbosaurus and Zucheng Tyrannus. The next dinosaur in this tier is Tyrannosaurus, and this is another dinosaur under the clade Parasolophony, but compared to the rest in its own family, it's really in a class of its own, at 8,620 kilos and 12 meters in length, and as well, of course, it's found in Asia. Next, we have four different Ceratopsians, which all belong to the same tribe of Triceratopsini, and first we have Triceratops proesus. This dinosaur measures at 9 tons in weight and 8 meters in length, and although some individuals of proesus could reach the sizes of the larger species, on average, this was the smaller of the two under the genus Triceratops. Corosaurus is next, and this guy measured at 10 tons in weight and 9 meters in length. And out of the four we're going to go over, Torosaurus had the most distinguishing factor, and that was its horns and its oddly shaped crest. Its crest was an oval shape different to the other Ceratopsians, and as well its horns were the longest in size by a fair amount. Next we have Eotriceratops at 10 tons in weight and 9 meters in length. Although once thought to possibly be the largest at 12 tons in weight, that is now inaccurate and it's been moved back down to 10 tons. The main reason for that inaccurate size, and the main reason it's also above Torosaurus on the list, is because its head is incredibly large, almost disproportionate to its body size. And finally in this tier we have the largest which is Triceratops horridus, at 10 tons in weight and 9 meters in length. And the reason I place Horridus above Eo and Tara is because 1. Horridus is one of my favourite dinosaurs, and 2. It does have potential to reach the larger sizes, just we need more fossil evidence and a bit more research on the species as a whole. Horridus itself is basically like a max level character for the Ceratopsians. As the Tyrannosaurus spent millions of years evolving the perfect and relenting force, the Ceratopsians did the same, and evolved their own immovable object. And finally, now we move on to our largest of the Megafistians, which is our 5 star dinosaurs. Meaning at a minimum, these beasts have to weigh more than 10 tons in weight. And first, starting off this tier, we have Edmontosaurus and Ectons, 
This beast weighs 13,353 kilos, meaning this dino weighs the same as three African elephants. And then just to make it even more impressive, in length it measures at 14.38 meters, which is around the same size as a modern day transport truck. And I'll be honest, this size was definitely needed, because even though it is incredible for this creature to obtain such a size, don't forget it also shared its home with the largest land carnivore to ever exist, aka Tyrannosaurus Rex. And the final dinosaur we have on our list, and also the most impressive, is Shantungosaurus. This dinosaur is the largest non-sauropod to ever walk the earth, at 19 tons in weight and 15.6 meters in length. Which I'll be honest is kind of mind boggling to think about, because Shan is equivalent to 6 African elephants in weight. So in my opinion I don't think much, if anything, would actually try and take down the fully grown Shantungosaurus. You could argue maybe a Tarbosaurus or a Zhucheng Tyrannus could try and take one down, and even though Shantungosaurus had very little weaponry, if it did use its 19 tons of mass to even flick the dinosaur, it would hurt an awful lot and possibly even break a bone. So finally, this is our completed list of the largest Ornithischians, aka the Megafischians. This list is definitely due to change in the future, within the coming years and even months, but for now, it's pretty solid.